The dollar kicked off the new trading week on a sore note as the traders continue to digest Friday's news. US jobs data showed a modest increase in non-farm payrolls, with the unemployment rate rising and wage growth slowing. It raised expectations that the Fed would cease monetary tightening, which in turn wind down on the greenback. Against this background, the euro-dollar pair gained strong upside momentum, approaching the 1.0750 mark. Given that the asset is now overbought, it needs a downward correction. In this situation, it would be a wise decision to consider short positions. After all, market participants should take into account macroeconomic factors. Despite weak statistics, the situation in the United States is much better than in Europe, which is at a risk of a sliding into recession again, notably gross domestic product across the single currency region fell by 0.1% in the third quarter. In the fourth quarter, the economy will hardly be able to pick up momentum. Moreover, the European Central Bank's rate hiking cycle is over as the Eurozone inflation slowed sharply to 2.9% in October. In the United States, on the contrary, consumer prices have been rising for the third month in a row, thus forcing the Federal Reserve to take action. Meanwhile, sterling rose above 1.2400, reaching the highest level since mid-September. Like the euro, the British currency is deep in an overbought territory and needs a correction, especially amid gloomy forecasts for the British economy. This week's macroeconomic calendar includes the UK GDP growth rate, which is unlikely to indicate a bright future. Thus, the chart can turn negative at any moment. At most, sterling may advance to the level of 1.2451. And that's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to the channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the US trading station.